Hello, Margo. Hi. I'm standing hey. today. I'm practicing standing desk. <laughs> we all need to like move our bodies, right? Oh yeah. The midst of so we're doing like a little dance. Look at us. We're doing we're marketing and finance dance. This is yeah. Cool. That's what this is about, right? That's totally about about what this is about. Yeah, exactly. So thank you everyone for paying attention, tuning in today. Um, I know this is not Facebook Live. You might be wondering, why am I seeing a recorded version? Well, it's because sometimes technology does not work in your favor. And so we decided to jump on over to Zoom and record this for you so that we could still pass along the message. And it's because the message is really important. Right, Margo? Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'll tell you what the message is about, and then we'll break it down a little bit. All right. So Margo and I, you know, we talk a lot. At, well, we talk a lot about a lot of things, but specifically marketing and money, right? Marketing and money. <laughs> but today we're going to talk about money, which is funny, Margo. I was thinking, I was like, uh, ma uh, money, mindset, mar uh, marketing, Margo, Matthew, like it's all these M's, right? Which is yeah, the M fun. Exactly, exactly. So, <laughs> so, you know, so because we've been talking about this a lot, I know Margo, you've got something you're working, you got, you're actually going, quote, on stage today to do a presentation. I know that in your story, you talk a little bit about money stuff. I know that I'm getting ready today to do a presentation. I'm talking about money stuff. And so basically what we wanted to do was just kind of throw this into this conversation for those of you who are tuning in to learn a little bit more about the resources that we see available in the world of money mindset and that to hear a little bit about what Margo's story is so you can kind of tune in to some of the thoughts that are occurring in her world as she tells her story and particularly as she tells her story because she is a CFO. She's dealing with people every day in the conversation on money, especially as it relates to their business. That's what we're here to talk about <laughs> in like 10 minutes or less. Are you ready, Margo? I'm ready. Awesome. So I'm going to just go through actually some of my favorite resources. And then as you hear something, Margo, that you want to respond to, just jump in and give us your two cents and tell a story because I know you've got some good stuff. Uh, good stuff in your in your world. So the first thing I want to share, because I think it is the most important topic, is one of my favorite books, one of my favorite systems. It's called The Millionaire Master Plan by this guy, Roger James Hamilton. I'll drop the link below as one of the resources so you can check it out. The bottom line about this one, Margo, the thing that I loved about this book is two things. One, it talks about the importance of knowing who you are and what you're good at, right? But more importantly, what other people are good at too. Because when you collaborate with people, you have to be able to step into your genius, right? Mm -hmm. And then collaborate with others' geniuses in order to be a source of generating wealth, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah it's so I find, I find what happens is, is that when people have difference of opinions, it, it's, it, 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 at first people take it as if... Um, you know, that they're against each other instead of appreciating and really listening with like a full ear and giving the chance for the person to really fully share. And that reminds me of a quality of how I used to be. Um, I would like jump in and be like, no, oh, that's not the way it's supposed to be. And then try to, yeah. And then just do all those sorts of things. And, you know, and I think of the concept of trying to fix. And when that comes up, you know, I say to myself and I share to clients and, and all the people that are struggling with this is, you know, take a breath and breathe <laughs> and really just stay into the body. Mm -hmm. um, it is the most powerful thing that you have and the most powerful technique that you have with you at all times mm -hmm. and being able to exchange with other professionals, as Matthew has shared, it is just such an incredible thing. Um, I know when I'm in the room, I don't like to be the smartest in the room mm -hmm. because I like to share, I like to hear what others have to say. And it takes time to be that type of person where you can receive, even though something may be working for you. So I'm gonna actually give a quick example. Um, somebody was talking yesterday on LinkedIn how they close their month, that they lock each specific month, a specific amount of days after the month closes. Mm -hmm. Now, I usually close the year 
in in the accounting program, but I don't necessarily lock the month once the month is closed. Hmm. I think it's an incredible concept. And I've jumped on the fact of being able to talk with this professional because it's another level of tighter controls that people can have. So this is an example of something that when you collaborate, as Matthew said, you can really find new innovative ways to, um, mm -hmm. to really get that next level. Mm, good, exactly, that's perfect. So the other piece to that book that I'll share in, the, in this context is this idea of flow, right? So this is an interesting one. And actually there's sort of two resources. One is the, the concept of flow does come up in the Millionaire Master Plan, but it actually also comes up in one of my favorite books. So I'm gonna, my question for you, I'll, I'll tell you what my, what my answer is, but my question for you, Margot, is what is your favorite book about money? Now, let me tell you what mine is, and, and, then, and then I'll circle back around to you. Or maybe your favorite resource, like or your favorite speaker, or your favorite presenter. So let that, let that question simmer. So for me, one of my favorite books, I used to be a Susie Orman person. I used to be. I love Susie Orman. She was great when I was young. She helped me to think about things differently. Um, you know, a very smart, powerful woman, making money, doing great things for the world, loved her show, like so entertaining. Right. And, and then I and then I did some a bunch of research and then I kind of um, I think change I don't want to say change yeah, I changed my perspective on Susie Orman, right? And and I think the person that helped me to change my perspective. Um, the most, to be fair, is this guy, Robert Kiyosaki, who wrote The Cash Flow Quadrant, right, which is a whole other thing in Rich Dad, Poor Dad. But the book, to me, that ultimately had, I think, the greatest impact was a book called The Soul of Money by this woman, Lynn Twist. It's The Soul of Money, Transforming Your Relationship with Money and Life by Lynn Twist. And the reason why I love what she shares and it kind of ties into this concept of flow from, from Roger James Hamilton's work, is it's, it's about acknowledging that money has energy, right? Now, we give it a lot of energy as people, as society, we give it a lot of energy, but the money has energy. And so it's kind of like, rather than like fighting it, right? You know, it's like the engine, like the, the steam heat of an engine, you don't like try to fight it from happening. You, 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 capture that energy and then use it to propel something forward right mm -hmm. so with money it's the same thing it's like there there's a certain power or strength to money and so and so then it becomes okay great if you're receiving that energy that strength that 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 power what are you doing with it right and and that's i think the the most powerful part of it is in this concept concept of flow is because if you can understand that money can flow through you then it breaks you break out of that whole hoarding mindset right and like a pinching pennies mindset which is very hard to do if you if you're sort of struggling with a with a having been trained as a poor person which is a whole other conversation right but then you can then become the flow for that money and the 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 thing that i love the most about that book and I, i'd love to hear your thoughts on this is where money flows grows mm -hmm. Right, so you put your money there. Something, something's going to come out of it, right? It's proof that it's energy. So what are so what are you hearing, Margot? That sort of tr reminds you of some of the things that you've experienced, some of the things that you've seen, and ultimately, do you have like a favorite book or a favorite guide or a favorite resource on money when it comes to people like Susie Orman or Kiyosaki or Hamilton, anything like that? So I do have a favorite book. Um, I used to be a Susie Orman fan. Now I realize for different reasons hmm. because I felt that it was like what you were supposed to do. Interesting. Um, That's funny. Who I adore um, is Barry Tesler. And Barry Tesler is more of a person who teaches you how to make a routine and a flow that works for you. And it's not a box method. Hmm. So, Let's say, for instance, when you're in alignment with yourself, she will talk about, she'll teach you how to get into your body. Um, and, you know, it's like a different form of a meditation of getting into your body and really just sitting with yourself on how you feel about it. Mm -hmm. So let's say, for instance, when you're doing a budget, you see rent and people use that word. You know, rent is kind of like the 30 years ago word of rent. But she'll tell you, um, customize these words that it fits for you. So it could be like sanctuary, peaceful home, so that 
those areas, what you're spending on speak to you and it doesn't trigger you. Um, so those methods are more of what uh, flows for me um, because it talks about uh, getting into the body and movement and it gets in touch with what I want and not necessarily like a boxed process that is basically factory um, used over and over. Um, and I felt how, um, you know, with her, how she talks about it, you know, it's formed from people's experiences that it can still work for you and not be afraid of money. Um, which is stuff that we've all experienced, even myself as an accountant, as a CFO, people think because I'm a CFO, I know everything and that I'm, you know, uh, that I don't have any fears or panics and those things. And I'm going through this pandemic just like everybody else. And I have, you know, my own stuff as well. <laughs> what, Marco? You're not perfect? <laughs> and awesome. I live... I lived like that a long time, feeling like I had to be in those beliefs. And, mm. you know, it, um, it only took me into a lot of chronic pain and not attending to it of just keep doing and piling it and on and piling mm. it on and not attending to what those issues were. Mm. And finding somebody, let's say like Barry Tesler, who dedicated her life to it, you know, really helped me create my own breakthroughs for myself, for my family, for my kids, um, and of course, for my business and my work. Got it. Got it. That's really cool. So we're at 13 minutes, and I know we wanted to keep this tight. So what I'm going to say is let's give our number one tip or takeaway just from our own perspectives on this conversation for the people that are listening, and then we'll tell you all about a webinar that we're working on uh, coming up next week. So my number one takeaway just from our conversation, Margo, and I actually really appreciate this as somebody who's a dancer and a choreographer and a mover, right? And as, as we've come together on where marketing and finance stands, mm -hmm. what your shares are really remind, reminding me of is the importance of paying attention to the messaging that's coming from your body, mm -hmm. right? Your body has wisdom and, and when you're holding on to something, when you have fear, when you have anxiety, when you're frustrated or angry or concerned, your body is actually going to tell you really quickly. Oh my God. I mean, I'll tell you something I realized, like I wasn't eating a proper dinner, like, you know, something like where we take for granted, where we can, as women, because we're multitasking as moms and housewives and all these different things, we can feel like we're shoveling the food in or like that we're shoveling the food in while taking care of our kids but actually sitting down for a dinner time like a woman and making sure I have my vegetables and I have my salad and, and a little bit of a dessert so that I don't feel deprived. Um, you know, so, you know, waking up, how I was waking up was a result of not eating enough throughout the day. And my specific body does the opposite. I gain weight when I don't eat enough instead of a lot of people would lose weight. So, um, when your being and your health is intact and is, is really um, where it, it, you feel powerful and, and, and I'm going to use the word beautiful, you know, different things come out. And um, ignoring your body is like ignoring your own money. It's ignoring your own mindset. So your, um, I'm just going to give another quick example is the meditation I did this morning is about being aligned with yourself, living in the alignment. It's not just align. It's not just doing a meditation that you're aligned with uh, um, to get aligned for the day, but it's living in alignment. So it's, she gave this example of um, on the weekends, are you living in alignment or is it just for work or is it just with your friends? So it goes across every single thing that you do. Um, and then she gives you like this two pra minute practice of journaling. Um, and it was really, really powerful. So, um, you know, ignoring your body is not, is, is something like you can Bad can't. idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad idea. So we're at 60 minutes. So I just want you to give like your one, if Margo gave one word of advice to people listening to this video, what's that one, well, not, it doesn't have to be one word, maybe like five words, like give me one sentence. It's like, boom, this is my last piece of advice. 
sit with what's triggering you most and move through it. <laughs> That's a good piece of advice. That's and like the best piece. And if you have a problem, call me, Got direct it. message me. I'm available through all these social media platforms. However, Boom. Matthew posts this for us in good. our beautiful journey. Um, I don't know if it's DM, PM, all these different things that are going on these days, you know, but what's triggering you most, that's what's going to take you to the next level. Word. That's good feedback. All right. So thank you everyone for tuning in and listening to what we're sharing with you about money and mindset. So for those of you that are interested, I mentioned it earlier, we're going to be hosting a workshop next Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern called P, B, and J, your way to stronger cash flow. That's P is for pricing strategy, B is for budgeting your cash, and J is for justifying those critical growth expenses. We, as we like to say, Margo, cash is queen, so let's get it organized, let's take that energy right? That energy and direct it towards something that's really critical for all of us, whatever that might be for you. We invite you to show up next Thursday, tune in. We'll make sure that the registration link is below through Eventbrite so that you can join us next Thursday. And with that, Marco, yeah, thank you very much. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.